Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a user-defined dynamic array function that's going to return all the sheet names in a workbook. So in a previous video I showed how you could return all the sheet names using a macro for function, and this is pretty much an old and deprecated part of Excel, but it still works. And Wayne pointed out in the comments section that he did a similar thing with a user defined function in VBA. So that would return a sheet name based on an index number. And that gave me an idea that you could create a user defined function that would return all the results. So it would take advantage of the new calculation engine and you'd be able to return the full array of sheet names instead of just a single value. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So if we head up to the Developer tab, we can open the Visual Basic Editor. And you can also press Alt F11 on your keyboard to open this Visual Basic Editor. And once we got it open in our workbook, we're going to right click and insert a module. So this is where the code for our function is going to live. And I've already got it copied into my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in here and we'll go through what it does. So here's the function name that we're creating. So list sheet names. And this line here is just going to ensure that when we make changes in our workbook, our function is going to recalculate. Here we're just defining a few things like a counter and a worksheet object and the array where we're going to hold all the sheet names. And here we're going to set our counter to zero. And here we're going to redimension our array. So we're going to create an array from one to however many worksheets we have in our workbook so that we can hold all of those names. And then we're going to loop through all the worksheets here and place the name of the worksheet into our array here. After that, we just assign the results. So here's our results and we're going to assign that to list sheet names. Now, we're going to transpose the results because if we don't, then they're just going to spill horizontally in our worksheet. So I want them to spill vertically. So application.transpose and our results, that's going to spill them vertically. And with that, let's head over to our workbook and let's try that out. So if we list our sheet names or use that function, it doesn't have any arguments. Here you can see that we get sheet one and we've actually only got one sheet in this workbook. If we add a couple more, then you can see that that actually doesn't spill right now, and that's just because we need to recalculate the function when we add new sheets. So if we press F9, you can see that those results are spilled down. Let's see what happens if we rename a sheet. So you can see that change has flowed through in our results and we didn't need to press F9 to recalculate. Let's see what happens if we delete a sheet. And that's also flowed through to our results. No need to recalculate there. So that's how you can create a dynamic array function that's going to return all the sheet names in a workbook. So it turns out you can use user defined functions and return an array of values. And that array of values is going to spill into your workbook now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time.